everybody. So, um, I apologise for the noise in the background. If you can hear that, that's the Blowforge cutting fairy doors, which is what my Blowforge does mostly. Uh, so, uh, this week we are going to be doing a lot more videos in the Summer's Made group. And uh, you've now sent me some of your requests on what you want videos on. A lot of people are saying they want videos on um, Illustrator and creating your own files or working with files and making them work when uh, utilizing um, your Glowforge. So um, one person did ask whether I could show um, an image they'd purchased from Etsy and how to then make that work on the Glowforge. Um, so I'm going to show you how I um, turned this image which I purchased from Etsy um, into a two-color uh, file instead of a three-color file so that it then could be engraved onto a um, silicon tumbler. Um, so I'm going to show you uh, that. I'm going to show you how you can work with those files and edit them uh, so they work better uh, for uh, for you. Um, again, I, I did a similar thing with uh, this color logo. I made it single color so that um, it would engrave into that uh, silicon tumbler and the client was um, absolutely um, impressed. So when you're doing things with silicon, for example, especially the silicon where it has um, one, uh, one color um, underneath the other color, you, you don't really want to have gradient or multiple power engraving. Um, so here, it just wouldn't really, wouldn't really work. You'd have a, you know, a horrible effect um, because of the two colors. So you really want to make sure uh, that that is, um, that is one color. Um, uh, sorry, just reading a, a question here. Do you feel that using Adobe Illustrator is better than Inkscape? Um, well, uh, I guess it really depends on, on your budget. I've been using uh, Illustrator for a long while and I love Illustrator. What I also love about Illustrator is when I first started using Illustrator, it was about $1,000 for the whole suite and you had to pay that pretty much every year because they bought out um, new versions and obviously you had to always keep upgrading to keep using the latest, uh, the latest things. And so... Um, I, I really, uh, I really felt that um, I really feel that Adobe have, has made their software very approachable now with the monthly cloud uh, subscription. Uh, I love Adobe Photoshop. I love Adobe Illustrator, uh, and the ability that you can do uh, within those two. I mean, we're working on right now um, uh, this Fairy Bridge, for example, uh, and creating this file in anything other than something like Illustrator. Uh, would be a, a, a real a real pain. I mean, getting the uh, the sizes that the pegs go in uh, and, and things like that. Um, you know that that sort of thing gets you to create uh, something really quite uh, really quite clever. Inkscape's great for um, you know creating those odd little uh, bits and pieces. Um, but now in Glowforge, for example, you can use the UI to create some very simple things. Uh, as well, shapes and letters and, and lots of fonts. Um, so I don't have a, a vast experience with Inkscape because I use Illustrator. Uh, most of the things I will be showing you uh, does have uh, a solution in Inkscape, so you should be able to follow through and uh, and work out what I'm doing um, in the in the two. So um, yeah, so the first few videos this week are going to be looking at how to edit a file, how to make it uh, uh, work for you. Uh, so for example, you know, this makes quite a large uh, bridge. It's 5.5 inches high and nearly 12 inches, uh, 12 inches wide. So how would you make this smaller, but then still allow uh, the little tabs uh, to fit? Uh, and so I can go through uh, with you and then I'm also going to look at the difference between scoring, which is what we've been doing here, and then 3D engraving. So one thing I'm going to be working on in a video with you guys this week is this brickwork here and the difference between having it scored, which means you can paint it and, and it looks nice, or having it actually 3D engraved where each brick is a slightly different shade of color. 
um, so that it engraves it at a different depth, which makes this whole uh, brick wall look really, uh, really funky. Um, and then you don't really need to uh, paint it because it's kind of been burnt in uh, with that brick style. Uh, so that's what uh, we'll be doing uh, this week. Um, I'll also be looking at, just give me a second here, uh, be looking at the um, the exhaust ports that we've uh, uh, been uh, producing. They make a great, oh, come on. They make a, a great way of, here we go, being able to easily attach your your hose. This is now solid onto the end of the, the hose and it now fits really easy back into uh, the, uh, the Glowforge. Just pops on and makes it super easy to take that off to clean your fan, um, uh, etc. So yeah, so we'll be doing these various different videos. Keep your comments uh, coming. Let me know what you want videos on. If we get enough requests for a certain thing, I'll do a video on that. If I don't know, um, if I don't know what, um, uh, if I don't know the, the exact solution, I will find a solution for you. And uh, my cat has come to help with the with the video. Um, yeah, if we uh, if I don't know the solution, I'll find it for you and create a video on what I found out. So uh, keep those comments coming, and uh, we'll get lots more videos done this week. Thanks, guys.